this is uh, part one angular 14 series so in this uh, you know series i will uh, create a fresh angular 14 application uh, with the help of angular cli so how to do that so here is the uh, one uh, you know, folder series and inside this uh, i have uh, that you know a git repository so that is uh, angular 14 so you can also find it out here uh, in uh, github so i will you know share this uh, link in the comment box and uh, every day uh, for each part i will commit the code uh, inside this you know main branch so that you can get it so let's create the angular 14 uh, fresh uh, application so to uh, do that i believe you guys already aware of this how to uh, you know use the command in the terminal so for this ng new and then you can say angular 14 okay let's hit enter and then uh, it will uh, asking me uh, would you like to add angular routing yes i will do uh, and uh, uh, which uh, kind of uh, you know style sheet processor i am going to use uh, i will prefer to use scss now it will take some time to create all the angular you know, 14 application so that's done so angular 14 has been created now what i do uh, so inside angular 14 another uh, folder has been created and uh, angular 14 because uh, while you you know use that ng new then project name so with the project name it will create the folder name so what i'll do i will you know extract uh, this all the content from here and i will move it to uh, out uh, side angular 14 uh, you know folder so that it will be directly available inside that git repository so i will now i'll remove this but uh, this is optional uh, purely so you can also have the contents inside this uh, any folder okay now uh, once it has been created uh, let me go through the changes uh, uh, what are the files you know got to modify it okay first of all i will check the package.json okay so here you can see uh, the you know, basic dependencies has been added which is provided by the angular library itself okay so animations common forms and router all the things and rxjs also uh, 7.5 version and uh, now if i go to the you now angular.json here i can see the projects uh, object you know here uh, one uh, project has been added that is called angular 14 which i have created now and uh, here uh, i can see the style sheet processor here scss and uh, here i can see the prefix so if i create any component or module so every file uh you know every selector uh, should start with uh, you know app and the source root is the src folder so here is the here is my uh, root path so okay now the output path is while uh, i build this application or yes i build the application then uh, you know one new folder will be created dist and the angular un inside the dist folder one more folder will be created that is called angular 14 where all the build file will be recited okay and now index.html uh, this src folder is containing the index.html which will be the you know primary uh, what is called default file uh, which will run in the browser inside the browser and main is the main ts file which will be the starting uh, file and uh, polyfills and ts config files and inline style language scss as well and assets folder here i can see the fab icon has been added inside the src folder there is the fab icon and the assets okay styles as of now styles.scss has been added no script external script if we uh, have the external scripts then we can use those script here but in the upcoming series uh, definitely we'll use that external script like you know bootstrap or jquery 
and uh, other thing is here uh, huh, configuration so if we have any uh, build file i mean dot js file is uh, maximum 500 kb then it will throw an error i mean warning and if uh, that file size is exceeding uh, you know beyond 1 mb then it will throw an error it will it won't allow you to build okay so it will stop you because 1 mb file actually will take lot of time to download in the browser okay and here is the any component style so for component style maximum warning 2 kb and maximum error size is 4 kb that means if any component ts file uh you know a style is uh, file size is uh, beyond 4 kb then it won't allow you to build so these are the configuration level and here also file replacements so while we build the application then in the time that uh, we can see uh, here environments folder uh, is having two files one is the environment ts and uh, another is the environment prod ts okay so while we build uh, while we serve the application locally so that means environment ts file will be used but while we build the application then this environment ts file will be renamed with environment prod ts which mean so this file will be used for the production okay okay now okay now if i go to the come back to the angular digestion file any other configuration which i need to discuss here let me check uh, production and build okay and okay uh, no more now go back to the another mo one more file that is called ts config file so here is the basic uh, some of the basic uh, boolean you know, settings uh, settings is here uh, we can customize it but uh, as of now let it be uh, you know as it is so later on upcoming video based on our requirement uh, i will change these settings okay and now uh, go back to the other file okay okay now coming to src folder app component ts file app app uh, html and app module now if i go uh, to the app module ts file here you can see that you know app routing module has been registered okay now coming back to the app main.ts file here already we uh, you know aware of this main.ts file because this is the starting file uh, you know compiling uh, file uh, where you know angular compiler or cli checks which module actually to be bootstrapped here is the definition if if i go to the definition of this app module by right clicking go to definition and uh, here i can see the bootstrap component is our uh, app component but this component uh, also uh, you know can be customized so i will show you in upcoming you know video how do we customize while we configure the you know account layout uh with uh, routing so uh, by that time i will uh, you know, show you how do we configure okay so that's all uh, for the day yeah, if you feel like you know you are benefited from this uh, series definitely uh, you will share this link with your friends